uh, can a lawyer attorney choose to drop a client at any point throughout a case? Yes, they can. Now, you can't prejudice the, the client's rights in, in his case. So for instance, in which it, what a lawyer would do if the case was filed suit, they would file a motion to withdraw. And if, if you write up the, like the day before trial, the judge isn't going to let you because that's unfair to the client. But yes, a lawyer in a civil case, uh, let's not talk criminal, let's just talk civil, can drop a client. You, you either terminate the client, and if you terminate a client, you should tell the client, you have to tell the client that they should go seek another lawyer, and you have to give them the statute of limitations time to file a lawsuit. So you may say, in Missouri, you have five years to file this, statute limit, this, this lawsuit. In a medical malpractice, you have two years. In a wrongful death case, you have three years. In Illinois, you have two years to file this lawsuit. You need to give them a date and tell them the time frame in which they have to file a lawsuit, not get another lawyer to file a lawsuit. Typically, then I would file a motion to withdraw and tell the client to get another lawyer. Uh, how do you handle situations where you feel comfortable, you don't feel comfortable representing someone? I don't take the case in the first instance. Money isn't worth it. So if I'm not comfortable representing someone, I don't take it. If I take a case where I think everything is hunky-dory and I'm representing a client and advocating for them and I later find out information that caused me pause, caused me to not feel comfortable about that, then I typically withdraw from the case. I don't. I have an attorney-client privilege with the client, though, so it's not my job to go tell the defense lawyer why I'm doing it. I just withdraw from the case because I have to owe the duty to my client still because I have attorney-client privilege. When I file a motion withdraw from a case, I don't say why I'm withdrawing. I say I'm withdrawing. That's it. I don't tell the other side. Um, so that's what I'm doing, uh, this. It's been an, a minute, 40 seconds. Would you represent them anyway? The answer is no. If I'm not comfortable, it depends why I'm not comfortable. I mean, you know, um, but if I don't feel comfortable, I've been doing this long enough that, and I have a lot of business, I, I'm blessed to work hard for my clients, and if I'm not comfortable representing someone, I don't do it. Um, so the answer is no to that question. If you turn them down, would you refer them to someone else? Yes, I do. So sometimes I also say, that, um, for instance, I can't take a case for you on a contingency fee basis because uh, I just can't. The case isn't that value. You should go to someone else who may. You may find a younger, hungrier lawyer who's able to take that case. Or maybe it's a really hard case that I don't, because I've tried a lot of cases, I kind of think I know what wins and loses. I say, listen, I don't think I can win your case. Someone else might, though, and some, there's other bright, smart lawyers out there who may have a different view than me. And then Go to that lawyer. You know, there's there's other lawyers. Um, and and yes, I have a I have a referral list of other lawyers who I know do. And there's cases that I don't take. I don't do a lot of criminal. I don't family law. I don't do probate, trust, and estate. So I have other friends that that I send them to, for those and other good lawyers that I know. Um, and I also have other subsequent emails when I when we reject the case or don't accept the case. I have a series of emails to clients that go out to them saying. Have you, have you looked on the Missouri Bar or Illinois Bar website? Can you want to go to, is it a small consumer case? You want to go to Legal Services of Eastern Missouri for free legal help? What do you want to do? Um, I got tw uh, 15 more seconds. What are some of the reasons you, you may not want to take a client? Um, if I don't think I'll win the case, if I don't think they need a lawyer, like I can't add value to a case, if they should just call and settle the case on their own, they'll put more money in their pocket. If it's a substantive legal area that I do because I'm a niche lawyer, I represent injured people. I do, uh, I do, uh, uh, I do uh, class action work. I do, uh, I do wage and hour work. I've had some success there. Uh, we do a lot of personal injury, meaning malpractice, auto, truck, motorcycle crashes, workers' compensation, premises liability, slip and fall cases. So if it's not in my area, I don't do it.